Hey, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam, and I'm going to start the reading like normal with one card from my Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck. I created 46 paintings over several years, and I wrote a guidebook that goes with it that has card descriptions and affirmations. You can find out more by going to moonbeammagicdeck.com, and as you can see there, magic has a K at the end of it. So I'm going to pick just one card to start. And we got Shattered. And I truly believe this is the most important card in my deck. And that's what I tell people when they pick this card. So this one is in the form of a poem. Not all the descriptions are poems, but this one did come out that way. And let me read it here to you. When life makes you feel shattered, what do you do? Do you pick up the pieces and try to use glue? Do you sit and cry and do nothing but frown? Do you leave pieces of yourself scattered all around? Here is my simple wish for you. Whether it happens or not depends on you. I hope you find love deep in your heart and gather the courage to make a new start. Pick up some pieces, but leave some behind. Discover there are new pieces for you to find. Rebuild yourself to make something new. One day you will see a more beautiful you. The affirmation is, I will use the pieces of my shattered heart to rebuild myself beautiful and new. And now I'm going to pick some cards from a couple of different Lenormand decks. Lenormand cards have fewer cards um, than tarot. It is a divination system, and it's kind of like, it tells sort of a story as the cards get laid out next to each other. You figure out what the meanings are and I really, really enjoy Lenormand. It's something I've been doing for a little while. I keep learning as I go. And I do like to use more than one card um, type as well. So the first one I used is called the Pagan Lenormand. And this is the Art Nouveau Lenormand. And we'll talk about what the cards mean in relation to each other and, and what's coming out. This is just a general message. Some of the messages may resonate with you, some may not. Just take what resonates, leave behind what does not fit your story. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can always send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com. So the first card we have here is the heart. And the heart card is all about love, emotions, romance, relationships. As you can see, the man and the woman there are writing on letters with old fashioned quill pens. And they could either be writing in their diaries and getting their emotions out in writing just to um, get through them, or they could be writing love notes to each other. It's all about making a connection and having the seeds of love blossom into a beautiful flower and having one heart to share the two wings, one wing from each person in the relationship. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy on that card for sure. Now the middle card there is the number 32 and it's the moon. The moon has more than one meaning. The moon is, a, it can be about love and romance. The moon is about dreams, hopes, aspirations, intuition. It can be about divine energy playing a big part in your life. It can also be about finding that you're getting recognition for work hard work, well done, something that you love to do, and being put into the public spotlight. 
It's definitely it though, like I said, about wishes and dreams, hopes, aspirations. And this is good energy to come. When the full moon is present, it's all about wishes and dreams manifesting and coming true. Now the card on the upper right there is, is the clover. And it's like quickening, good luck, something that's manifesting. It's about positive energy. As you can see, there's a woman there that's planting seeds in a raised flower bed. The seeds that you have planted are going to be blossoming. You're going to get a streak of good luck, happiness, prosperity, those types of things. Another really great energy card. Now the cross is the number 36. And the cross has a couple of messages as well. Initially, the cross can speak to a time period of great sadness. It can be about having difficulties and struggles and sorrow, something that's very challenging. But on the flip side as well, this card can be about keeping the faith and having hope that things will work out and the fruits are blossoming around the woman in the photo, even though she looks a bit sad and a bit withdrawn. Things are going to work out. So if you're having some issues with a love interest in your life, you're being divinely guided. The hopes and dreams and wishes, there's very good luck coming. And what you, um, this is definitely a sign of keeping the faith and having hope that things will work out. So the number 15 is the card of the bear. And the bear can represent someone that's very strong, someone that's very powerful, someone that's protective, someone that is at times possibly even overwhelming. If it's re representing um, a boss, it could be someone that's an overwhelming boss. It could represent a mother and being very protective of a child. But if this is a love interest, it's someone that's very powerful, very protective, and very strong. And it's also representing the strength to overcome any obstacle that you may have. If there is an obstacle in your life right now, if there are things that have made you feel shattered, this card is saying that you have the strength to make it through. You will overcome the current obstacle. The number 26 card is the card of the book. And the book can represent secrets, knowledge, wisdom, education, learning, discovering, but in this depiction of the card, I really feel like it's more about her contemplating what she's learned. The book is open, so there are not secrets. If the book was closed, it would be more about hidden knowledge. But this is an open book and open communication of sorts. It kind of goes along with the couple up here that is writing a letter. As long as they continue to communicate, the matters of the heart will bloom and blossom and their love will fly and flourish. It's also, you know, interesting since the shattered card came up first, if this is regarding a romantic um, interest, it's possible that one or both of the partners in the romantic interest are having to rebuild themselves and um, kind of reinvent themselves to go on the ne next part of their journey. You really cannot carry the old self into the future and expect to have different results. We're constantly changing and evolving and progressing over time. 
I'm going to pick a few more cards. This one is the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. I'm going to pick a card for the cross. And that's the, the well card, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. And I'm going to pick a card for the book. And look at that, it just flopped right out. There's the anchor. And I'll go ahead and pick one for the bear. And there's the letter. So the first card there, the number 41, is the well. It's, it's a wishing well. And the wishing well is all about wishes, dreams, creativity, resources, having your secret wishes revealed. I feel like she's wishing over here. She's thinking about what she really wants in her life. She wants the wishes to come true. There's strength and protection in between both of them. This is about digging deep and doing the hard work to make your biggest wishes and dreams come true. As you can see there, it's an old fashioned well with a crank on the right section of it. You have to lower that that bucket, that pail, down into that, deep into that well in order to get those big, big dreams to come true. It's not going to just be coming to you like in a, a magical fairy tale. You've got to work hard for it. If you really have something you want to do, you have to keep working for it. it none of it comes overnight. So... I think this is a really good card, even though it's saying you have to work for your dreams. There's sunlight there in the background. Sun rays always represent hope to me in, in readings as well. There's a lot of hope. There's a lot of love. There's some rebuilding and reinventing yourself. The So on the right, the number 35 card, that is the anchor. The anchor stands for stability and security. It brings peace of mind and it brings hope. As you can see, that anchor is sitting there with waves around it that are kind of tumultuous. It's not peaceful water. This kind of indicates there's been an emotional time period, but that anchor is going to stabilize and ground you. Now there's birds here. One, two, three, four, five. There's five birds there. Birds always indicate communication. And obviously for any situation to be resolved here with all these different things going on, um, there's gonna have to be some more communication to work it out. And speaking of communication, here's the letter. And there's the old fashioned quill pen again. I love that, that the symbolism was you know, um, replicated at least twice. She doesn't have uh, a fountain pen, or I mean a, a quill pen, they're the same, but there's a lot of communication that either is going to be done, needs to be done, or will be done in the future. Letters can be about old-fashioned letters coming in the mail. They can represent emails, texts, any kind of direct message. This can also represent um, doing something you love and being offered a contract or um, getting an award even of sorts. Uh, any type of communication, any type of recognition, especially since it's right here next to the moon. And the moon is can be about rewards, recognition, regarding work, that type of thing. So I'm going to pick just a couple more cards. I almost hate to do this because it's such a good reading at this point. I'm going to pick another card for the bear, see what's going on with the bear to get a little bit more of a description about that. I really, really like it when the cards will just kind of fall out on their own. But if not, I pick the one that feels like it is talking to me. Oh, that one just fell out on its own. So we'll just leave it at two here. 
So the first card is the Two of Clubs, and it's the card called Ego. It's about the conscious mind, thoughts, memories, and emotions. The basic message of this card is to trust yourself and continue to go with your confidence and develop your self-esteem. Use the strength and the power and the protection of the bear to trust your thoughts, your mind, your emotions. The number 10 of the 10 of diamonds is a card called separation. And it's described as parting and moving to the next level, the end of something and the beginning of something better success. I pulled that card and placed it right over the good luck, the moon with the success, fame, recognition, and the book with the knowledge. I really like this card. It looks like a turtle shell as the hot air balloon. And there are two people there that are riding inside of it. It's talking about ascending and reaching the next level. And there are two little, the two people have little white flags. To me, that is surrendering to the change and accepting this new journey and challenge. And as you can see there in the bottom, there is an, there's a mountain range. And anytime I see a mountain range, that's about obstacles. But obviously, you're rising above the obstacles. You're rising above the challenges. And this says you will have success. I'm really pleased with the way this reading turned out. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that there were some messages here that you found meaningful. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already and hit the little wiggly bell there so that you can get notifications about when I post new videos. Thank you for joining me and have a really wonderful day or night.